This is the Strakel Silicium by Tuel Squan. Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. The Strakel Silicium is the second module from Tuel Squan that I'm featuring on this channel. The previous one was the Strakel Orcel, and that was a analog uh, tube powered distortion behemoth. Uh, whereas the silicium is a dual transistor based, well, fuzz overdrive distortion based module um, that can also be used in a stereo mode. So this is a completely different beast than the Orcel. And what I want to show is how this then compares to the Orcel and when you might want to decide to use one or the other. Um, as I mentioned, um, again, I'll have to um, <laughs> apologize for uh, any butchering of the Breton language. Um, and again, if you've got any suggestions or anything that I need to do better, uh, let me know. Um, that being said, I do have to thank Alex for, for um, making these modules available for me so I can feature them on this channel. Um, I'll have to send them back, unfortunately, but uh, then again, it's great to have this experience. Um, that being said, hope everyone's sitting down, is ready for this video, because again, this is gonna be a good one. So uh, here we go. So here we have the Stracal Silicium by Tuel Squan. Um, as mentioned, I still hope that I pronounce these names in an acceptable fashion. Um, I haven't had any feedback yet, so uh, bear with me, right? Um, so where the ore cell, the Strokal ore cell, the, the, the previous module that I reviewed by 12 Squan was a tube powered distortion miracle, you might even say. Uh, this is of course a, well, a transistor based uh, fuzz overdrive distortion, however you want to call it. Uh, but the beauty of this thing is that it has a dual, well, fuzz circuit you might even say so the fun thing is, is of course and I'm gonna put the schematic right here next to it is you've got a single mono input but because you've got two fuzz circuits um, you actually have a stereo out here um, you can also plug a mono in there but then you can easily just morph uh, between the two fuzz circuits by using this one this is the um, the knob right there. Uh, you can also control that with CV if you want. Then um, you've got the actual you know, feedback, of course, as always with overdrive and, and distortion, you'll need to have some feedback. You've got the actual input volume uh, comparable to what we had on the uh, Strakel or cell. And right here we have the gain and then here on number four we have a very well easy to use equalizer from uh, from low to high of course and then we've got the second cv input um, we might then expect that this would then control the gain but this actually controls the amount of feedback so this one controls the well the morphine and this one controls the amount of feedback so what I like to do is I like to start with a with a sine wave immediately. So let's um, have a quick listen to that. There you go. That's the one we're gonna start off with. And I'm just gonna patch that into the Strakel Silicium and just connect it right there. And even though I've got the input volume and the gain all the way down we we are immediately well <laughs> greeted by the internal sound of the module so there we go As you can see, 
lower frequencies, higher frequencies. It does have a bit of a an EQ feel to it. It's nothing too fancy, but it works. And then you've got your morph in between the two fuzz circuits. So, well, that's of course what we want to uh, to hear. Let me just uh, vary the. But the thing is, what we need to keep in mind is that if I disconnect the inputs, we'll still hear the, the module itself. So that's something that we need to work with. So if we then have something that we patch in there, it works like a charm, it's beautiful, it, it, it adds a lot of fuzz, distortion, character, warmth, however you want to call it. Uh, but you do need to make sure that there is a lot of rest noise to it. So if I then just throw a melody into that without any sort of envelopes. It does all of these beautiful things. And right now I'm just using the mono output so I can use the morphine to morph between the two fuzz circuits. I'll just keep it in the middle for now. So what then happens if we, instead of just patching this in like that, we throw in a an enveloped signal, like for instance this. let you hear that immediately. So in this case, what actually works better in my experience is just to feed the well, the actual shape immediately into the Strokel Silicium and then envelope it. Then you'll have a, a much nicer uh, sound to work with. Oh, I, I need to switch this around. Apologies for that. does act all of that warmth that you want and that is just beautiful another key thing that we what I like to do then is also grab the uh, the foundation and the, the, the nice thing about the foundation is it does have the the bass drum the kick drum uh, sound to it but it also has an envelope out so if you then combine that with the VCA you can do all sorts of things with that so let's um, patch this around patch this immediately into the mixer there you go and let's grab this and grab that from the foundation so again it has a lot of the noise from the device itself in there so what we then might want to do is grab the envelope from the foundation, go, patch that into a VCA, and then grab the output from here, put that into the VCA first, and then I need to find a long enough cable just real quickly. this that goes into the VCA 
and we grab the output from the VCA. Uh, let's grab. Uh, let's grab this one. And we already start to see that we can do well other things with this one. So you can get that fuzzier sound out of your bass drum, but still make sure that you don't have that leakage of um, unwanted sound in there as well. Because again, now we've got this going like this, but if we then repatch this, so then by just applying the envelope through this VCA, That's really going to help you in well, making sure that you can get the, the right sounds out of it. So that being said, let's um, incorporate this into a nice and dirty jam, I might say. So let's grab this one. I'm just going to create something out of nothing. Hopefully it's going to sound nice, we'll see.
so I hope you like this. Um, I can just keep on going. You know, you guys know that I love distortion units or anything that does something nitty gritty with sound. So uh, I would say let's go back to the studio and let's wrap this up. Thanks so much. Cheers. As always, I truly hope you enjoyed this video on the Strakel Silicium by 12 Um If you've got any feedback or any questions following this episode or any of the other episodes or interviews that we do, uh, please feel free to reach out either by dropping me a line um, in the comments down below or drop me a line at Jesper at the modular clubhouse.nl or just connect to our discord server and uh, find me there online and just um, well ask me anything you, you might like uh, that's the way how I learn right so I learn a lot from all the interviews I do with people within the Eurorack sphere and uh, with all the makers uh, but the main reason why I make these videos is of course primarily for you the um well my audience so if you want to see something different something else uh or do you want to see more of a similar of a certain thing just let me know that's how i can grow this channel as well um so for now again thanks so much for all your time uh and the well the energy that you put into or and you're hopefully enjoying these videos for now, I would just say, please, everyone, stay safe, stay healthy, and see you for my next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.